Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette. Welcome to my studio. It's the Vintage Paper Girl. All right, welcome back to each and every one of you. Welcome to all my new subscribers and my continuing uh, buddies for coming back and watching all of my lovely videos. I appreciate each and every one of you so much. I hope you're all having a fabulous Friday. Hopefully this is Friday when you see this. If everything goes as planned, it should be Friday. <laughs> I'm actually filming on a Sunday, so I hope that's okay with you. I have a super busy week, and the only way I was going to get any videos out is if I did them all on Sunday. So I'm working this weekend, all weekend. That's what I've spent all day Saturday and Sunday doing, is working on things. So anyway, welcome everyone. I'm very excited to have you here. We're going to continue work on our old laces folio. We're going to be working on the inside pockets today and all the goodies to go into the inside pockets. We'll see how far we get. The hour has just been flying right by each and every day. I can't believe it. I get into the zone and boom, we're done. It's like crazy. So anyway, I'm very happy to be here with you and we're going to move all these goodies. I left the setup from the photo for the thumbnail for this. So um, I thought you guys could look at all the pretties, you know, before I got going. And that's what we're going to be working on. This is our outside. For those of you who maybe are seeing it for the first time, there are three other videos. This is part four. Uh, so as to how I did this and when it is a from scratch, we did, you all got to see me take it from the beginning of the decorating. This is the side or the, excuse me, the spine, which is about an inch and a half. And then our back cover, which has a top, a tuck and a pocket. And then we're going to be working on the inside today. All righty, so let's get busy. Let me move these papers. These background papers are something I uh, recently made for myself to use in my journals. So this journal specifically, uh, I will say. So, all righty, today is... Um, I'm not sure how we're going to do this because this, you know, I, I think I blew it, you guys, because normally I will make my inside do my cover last. But because this was a folio, I made the outside first because I was worried about squishing everything on the inside when I did the outside cover. Because as you know, if you watch this, you saw I had to go flat many, many times to work on it and it would have damaged everything on the inside. So now I just have to hope I don't damage the outside. So we'll do our best, right? I'm gonna move those laces. Oh, no, I don't. I may have to put some paper or something over that so I don't damage it when I'm working on it. I've gotta figure this out. All righty, all right, let's get going here. We finished this pocket already, so we're gonna put that on there. Then I was talking about possibly putting some lace under here. And I'm thinking I might wanna put a pre-gathered lace. Now, I generally cut my laces flat, but I'm wondering if I want to, um, you know, do something that's already gathered and not flatten it. Um, I think that's actually what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to use this particular lace. Let me see. I'm looking for my front and my back. I hope you're all well. Um, and you're crafting along and doing some fun, fun things today. It is Friday for you guys, so you probably had a long, busy week like I'm sure I did. Because um, I have a lot planned this week. I'm going to be putting things into my Etsy shop this week. And so more than likely, uh, I don't want to do any videos on the week that I am putting things into my shop and then shipping. Because we get just swamped with that. So let's, let's do this. I'm looking for my cutoff spot here. There we go. Back to the lace bucket you go. I'm going to do just a tiny bit of... I'm still checking this because... Oh, it's pretty on both sides. Oh dear. Okay. This is my top. I'm going to use this as my front. And I'm just going to hit it a little bit with my vintage photo with whatever's on my, got a new ink dauber pad there on my dauber from Ramblin' Crafters. Shell and Clint over there. That's where I get these. Then I have the standard, you know, Tim Holtz ones, Ranger ink or whatever it is that does it. So, we're going to start off by adding a little lace ruffle at the bottom here. Oh, but you know what? It just dawned on me. That was the only piece of that I had left. Guess what? It has a complementing side. So, do I have to have it the same? Question. There you go. There's one for you. Do we have to have it the same? You know, I don't think we do. I think it will be 
okay to have a completely different lace because of this gap that we have here. Um, can't see me, but I'm leaning on my face here, <laughs> trying to think. <laughs> um, oh, I'm also wearing my Ink and Think shirt again today. Uh, Miss Gale's lovely merchandise, which I adore. Very comfy. It's become my new, can't wait for my next shirt to come in. I still have one more so I can alternate them when I'm doing videos between Ink and Think and Talk Amongst Yourselves. And I'm sure I'm absolutely going to want the kind, the kind one when she, she comes out with it. Well, I'm hoping she comes out with it. I'm praying. I asked her. She won't tell me. So I guess it's a surprise. We'll see if I'm, we're going to actually get a kind shirt. I would love one. Let's hope we get one. I may be waiting a long time for it, right? <laughs> if she's not doing it. All I can do is hope and pray, right? Yeah, I think it's okay to have this and not the same as that. And I don't think I have to have... I was thinking about having dangly lace here, but I think it's going to be kind of a pain in the patootie if you're turning pages to get into it, you know, to have it all flopping around. I mean, the front cover does, but as you can see, it's over here. It's over here. And all you'll see of this is maybe that. I don't think we need to have dangling lace all over the place. No, I don't. I think I don't think we do. I think this is okay. Oh, I hope there's a kind shirt. Gail, are we getting a kind shirt? You're not going to tell me. I know. Darn it. As good of friends as we are, she's not divulging anything to me. Um, I just have to wait like the rest of you and see what we're getting. But boy, if she does put one out, you know I'm going to buy like tons of stuff in the kind. I love that. Reminds us every day to be kind when we're not feeling as kind as we should be. And maybe remind others who are around us and who see us to be kind. They see it on your chest and they go, oh yeah, I should be nice, you know. We all know that Gail's the queen of kind. I try really hard, but I am definitely not on par with her, I don't think. All right, let's, I am going to move it down a little bit because I, this has to go and in, fold into the middle and I don't want it to impede anything. Yeah. Ugh. Tomorrow's garbage day here, which would be Monday for us, for me. And I hear everybody's pulling out their garbage cans, getting ready for the, for the week. My husband doesn't take ours out till late at night because we have garbage scavengers who come along and go through your garbage and pull everything out and leave it all over the place. Ugh, so frustrating. Hmm, now I want to kick myself because that has gone past where the pocket's going to go. Well, maybe I'll just center the pocket then. Because this is already glued down. Guess what? It is already, it's so warm in here, it's already dried. I mean, I could rip it up, but I'm scared to do that. Hmm. Let me see. I want to put this on there in the middle, but I don't want the lace to go beyond. So maybe this end's okay, but not this end. Yeah, I want that to go right there. I don't know what I was thinking. I should have put it on the envelope, not on the page. I don't usually do that. I don't know what I was thinking. <sighs> Bird brain. Okay. Luckily, that had not dried. I will use those bits, believe it or not. It goes behind something small. There we go. I'm sorry I'm fussing, guys. I don't mean to. And that's the wrong pocket. Oh, my God. That would have been bad. Okay. Here we go. Alrighty, so we're gonna glue this pocket on. I don't usually use Fabri-Tac to put my pockets on, but I will because we're going on lace. A heavy lace, too. I don't 
know, it seems like my fabric is all of a sudden really thick. It's got to be the heat. And the fact the air conditioner is on, I don't know. That's probably my problem. I'm actually going to put that upside down in my, um, my glue jar. Sorry, I got to... I know I'm working at the bottom here, but that's just... I can't really get this up. It's an awkward... And I have to be careful the front of this. Oh. Can't really press down. It's going to be a tough one. We're not going to do a lot of decorating to this page. I can tell you that much right now. I have to fix this because I did rip it up. Sorry guys, I'm concentrating. I went quiet there. This is going to be a quieter video when I'm working on a process video. It's a little bit quieter video. I can't really craft and chat as much as I would like. I'm really glad we got this pocket done. Um, I'm going to uh, a little ink and think mug here. I wanted to make sure I leave enough open so I could stick a card or a tag or, you know, something um, like this in here. And that may be what's going in there. I haven't decided. Okay, so we're going to go to this other side and do some work on this. We talked about that before. I do want to put some lace behind her. See, my little bow is coming tied. Let me get this. So what are you guys up to? I don't have a lot. Um, I'm trying to think what we've been doing. Where... Um, Mainly just, you know, watching movies at night and uh, I craft in the day and my husband does his projects and he just redid on that uh, hill that you guys have been talking about. Um, and those of you who follow me on Facebook, you have seen, he just put in the new irrigation drip system up there. So he doesn't have to climb that hill several times a week and water the plants. And, you know, with the, uh, the uh, drought and stuff, um, we want to, you know, do our part not to use so much water, but everything up there requires some water, especially the roses. So we're, um, I want to use something here. I think I might want to bring this. Uh, I got to find something to put on this, you guys. I feel really, let me just put a piece of paper at least cleaner than the work table. Um, so we're trying to do our part with uh, water. So he did put in a new, he's been working on that, trying to get it to work properly. He's had some frustrations. There was some, I guess, dirt in the lines, which made it hard to, um, the water was not flowing correctly. So he finally got that all fixed. And, ah, I just forgot I glued that. Whoops. Eek. Okay, let's do, I'm covering this little bit up here. Then what I think I'll do uh, is probably, um, you know, add the pearls if you still see them. You know what I mean? Um, so we'll see. I kind of want to roosh it up a little. Gather it. And I think I want a little bit of this on there as well. 
And I'm going to have to move that aside. I find it really easy to do this if I'm if I'm um, using the glue stick. pretty easy to just slide it along, push it down, and get the look that you want. The Scotch Create is fabulous if you're in the U.S. If you're in Europe, the uh, Giotto that Rachel at Roxy Creations uses is fabulous. I guess you can still get it. I don't, I don't know. I think I, there were some problems during the COVID, the worst part of COVID. She had trouble getting it, so I think she still can, but I think it's probably... I think she said something about it being kind of sort of pricey, so I don't know. I looked at getting some sent here, but the shipping was killer. I could get it, but I was like, uh. And then customs. Oh, customs. Oh, I got to tell you a story about customs. Oh, my goodness. I ordered some antique books and documents and stuff from Rachel, and I've had no problem getting anything from, from Italy until this last order huh. oh my goodness um when i got it it was not in its original envelope they had opened every single thing every package every paper they unwrapped the book because she had it wrapped up beautifully and in plastic they unwrapped and opened every document every piece of paper i wasn't a real happy camper because they did some damage and um I know that didn't come from her because I saw those pieces in her shop before. So I was like, oh my goodness. Uh, customs just went to town. I have no idea why I have never had customs do that before. I'm looking at using some dimensional tape here. I've never had them do that before. I've gotten books and documents and all kinds of paper and all kinds of things from her. And I've never had them open my package. And th the label was destroyed. I mean, it was obvious. They put that poor little thing through the ringer. I, I really wasn't happy. But there's nothing you can do about it. You know, it is what it is. They don't give you an option as to whether you get your package open. So I am very blessed that I even got it. And it was a very old, 1846 or something like that book. Very, very, very old. And so were some of the school primers were in the fifth from the 50s. Um, and some of the documents. And so I was like, oh my goodness. I get all my old stuff from Rachel. And gosh, I haven't even told her about it yet. That they decimated her poor little package, you know. So... I don't have a thumbnail and I just need a little bit there we go <laughs> so I'm adding some dimension here before I put this lady on there we go she's now on there with and if I don't feel like it's gonna stay which I don't not sure that it is I'm going to go ahead and glue it the put some glue in her too it's gonna get double everything I guess I could use my glue gun I have that out still okay there we go so now she's kind of sitting up on that pocket. Isn't that beautiful? All righty then. Let's see what we have next. Oh, this piece right here. Now, what did I do with that? Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. I've been throwing everything in a pile on top of each other. Naughty. Oh, I'm so naughty. My naughty, naughty girl. Oh dear. Oh dear. Let's see. Where did I put it? You know, I love these pearls, but they are a pain on your desk. They just are. They are. They drive me crazy. I can never... Ugh, do we want to go there? All right. I have... I don't know if these came from Claudia or who they came from, but somebody sent it to me. I think it might have been Triple D Vintage sent me these. Um, I was thinking that would go right there because... There is a faux one right there. See? The only thing is this is a bright gold. I wonder if we can make it look a little less bright. No, I don't want to use alcohol inks and I don't have any. Sometimes this works. Oh, what oh, where to go? Oh. <laughs> Shot that across the room. And then I thought I'd put a few little pearls on that. And then a couple little pearls here, and then we'll call that done, you know. Let's see. I don't 
think we need. Hmm. Now I'm wondering if they're, okay, no. Um, we need glue. What else do we need? I think we just need glue on this one. Oh man, I'm kicking myself. There's a pretty ribbon back there. It hasn't dried yet. Mm. There's a pretty satin ribbon right there. Let me see if I have any close by me in my stash. I do. I do, I do. Um, mm, my hair up. A prime delivery truck out front, but I don't think I have anything coming prime. I think I've got all my prime orders. I got, my husband was a sweetie too and gave me some money for Amazon and um, I haven't used it yet. I have not used it yet. So I don't have anything coming. I'm hoarding my Amazon card right now. I do need a couple things. What in the world just landed on my lap? That little pearl. And I think it hit the garbage can. Uh oh, you guys. Oh no, give me a minute. I think it ended up in the garbage can. Oh, I don't see it. I don't know where to go. Ugh. Sorry, my head's under the desk. Hello. Ugh. I haven't left you. <sighs> I need to put that somewhere. <laughs> it keeps ending. It's like it's a little jumping bean. It's a jumping pearl. A jumping bean pearl. Oh, you know me. I knew I meant to do this, and I'm gonna have to re-glue everything, but that's okay. That's what glue's for, right? It's fiddly, but it's okay. I like fiddly. Oh, darn it. I don't wanna turn it upside down. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, that piece is all gluey. I don't want that. And it stuck to me. Whoa. Okay. Eh. No. Get over there. Get over there. All right. Let's see. Okay, guys. I got it. I'm now going for the wet one. I've been doing pretty good. Not having to use them all the time. But... You know, you know about this stuff. And once it gets on you, you know, Fabri-Tac does not let go. Ugh. I think that cloth is probably just about done too. I've got another dry one over here. Oh, there we go. Got another one. Gotta get that off my Tim Holtz scissors. That that uh, fabric tech ruins those scissors. Easy peasy. At least I've noticed that that they're not as sticky after that. <clears throat> I mean, they're not, they are not as sharp. If you get it on there and you don't get it off, you get a dull spot in them. At least it's been my experience. Maybe not everybody's, but. I haven't been off screen. Uh, I'm trying to stay on. All right. There we go. That adds some dimension when you put the real thing on there, you know. I'm going to put the pearls on before I put that big piece on. Just tedious, fiddly work. As you can see, this is my work. This is what I do, and it's... It can be very tedious, very fiddly, very um, time consuming. That's why I don't have tons and tons of work out there because it does take me a while. Although honestly, you guys, it was so funny. I um, was pulling out my ephemera I've made that I want to sell in my shop. And I was pulling it out and <laughs> My husband was in there and he's like, honey, that's a lot of ephemera. And I go, yeah, it really is. And I said, wow, I'm overwhelmed. I don't know what to do. And he's like, yeah, I go, I, I, I guess I could make them into, I couldn't decide, do I sell them individually? Do I make them into sets? You know, the usual. 
and we're talking and and I said, well, gosh, these pieces match something I'm working on. And so I go get the piece and I see that they do. And I'm like, well, I could just put these in and fill this. This would help fill up this piece because it's a really big piece. And uh, it has a lot of, it needs a lot of stuff. And I said, well, you know, I'm so jealous because Gail has this big, these big old ephemera boxes where she puts her stuff that she makes in. And then she just is able to decorate her stuff and doesn't have to make new pieces every single time. I mean, just make some, don't get me wrong, but you know. I said, well, honey, why don't you just keep the pieces that go with the projects that you know you're going to be making and, you know, the work that you want to be doing now? And I said, uh, duh. <laughs> so, which is great because as soon as I told my daughter I had 200 pieces, she about had a heart attack. Mom, that's going to take forever to put those in the shop. I'm like, no, 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 we're not doing that. And then I gave her another number and she says, how many? I go, no, no, we're going to put them in sets. She's like, oh, okay. Because it does take quite a bit to get them into the Etsy shops. And um, it's quite a few steps. And so <laughs> I freaked everybody out when I told them I had 200 pieces. And so, no, I'm not putting them all in the shop because we, we're going to keep some now <laughs> to use. Uh, to use. So, um, no, we're not putting as many in as I thought I was. Sorry, ladies. But they're going to be going into the pieces that I'm making. So, and you're, it's, you know, mainly what you see me make. So, sorry, I'm looking for my tweezers. I dropped them somewhere into one of my work baskets here. Oh dear, come on you. Come on, come. Really? Help me out here. Gosh darn it. Trying to get it to this flat side. And I am sweating bullets in here. Whew, this room is hot today. It's um, 90 outside. So, and I'm cooking in here. Even with the air conditioner on, it just came on again. Hallelujah. Because I don't know what I'd do if it didn't. I have to end the video. Oh, I don't want to get, I'm getting dizzy. I do have a soda in here and I may have to stop and drink a bunch just to cool myself down a little. There we go. All right, we got them on there. Oh, my goodness. Such a process. All right, I want to get a few here. So we're going to do five. <laughs> okay, that one just flipped off the table onto the floor. I'll have to remember to pick that up. Mr. Tomers doesn't get a hold of it. Mr. Tommy Two Toes there. Hopefully my head isn't in the camera. I don't know. My husband has me zoomed in pretty good today. So you could see some of the smaller work that I'm doing. I apologize for getting the top of my head. Um, hmm. I was hoping I could see the pearl. Oh, I found it. Now where did it go? Oh, it's on my finger. <laughs> it was on the floor. It's just that I found it. This glue does dry very clear. And it looks like we have one more over there that might show. Okay, we'll do that one. I mean, I could have put lace here too, but I, I, I was like, no, I'm not gonna overdo this, this is crazy. I could spend all day on one pocket, literally, I could. Let me get this one here. Oh. Alrighty. Oh, whoops. And then this one. It's like, do I really need to do that one? I don't know. It's so brassy. I don't know that I like that. Oh, let's see what other flat... Um, I don't want to lose these. These are fiddly. Get in there. Come on. Sorry about the uh, sound. Let me see. Where are, my, where are my pearls? Where are my big pearls? Oh, they're hanging in front of me. Okay. I'm looking at them. I now have them hanging up in front of me. I used to have them on. Uh-oh. <laughs> Escapee. Um, on a board and so 
but they were too far away. They were, so I put up some hooks in front of me on the shelves in front of me as best I could, you know, and those may just fall down one day right in the middle of a video, I'm sure. Who knows, right? This is very sticky, apparently. I'm separating it from its backing, its sticky back. I'm not keeping it on the sticky back because I'm gluing it on. Oh, that came out good. No, I like that better than what I was gonna put on there. I mean, that was similar, but I do, I like that better. And then I think we'll just put a little bit of a lace down there and this pocket's done and we'll call that done. Um, <sighs> Um, lace, right? Is that what we said? I just had a complete blank looking at my lace box. Boy, everything's gotten me quite a shoved in here a mess. I'm flipping lace everywhere. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. So looking for something that would look good down there. Um, I am thinking it might have to be, it's probably not in my lace box, honestly. Um, I'm thinking it's going to be one of these by my desk here. Maybe this one again. This is from the Dollar Tree, believe it or not. They have some really good little crochet laces. But, but they were over in their, um, surprisingly, over in their floral section. Was very surprised to see them over there. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. That finishes it off nicely. I don't like what the fake lace is down there. You know, the faux lace. Um, put some of these things away. I don't know what we were talking about before. Huh. Okay. Sorry, guys. It's really hard for me to create and talk a lot. I know you're used to me chatting through a whole video, but these require a bit more concentration. And to be honest, I'm fighting a headache. So um, I'm really having to concentrate through the headache. I have a headache, but it's not gone migraine yet. But um, I'm expecting that's where it's going any minute. Probably because of the heat. I don't, I get them in the heat really bad, so. But otherwise it's good. And I'm hoping to get my shot this week. Fingers crossed, everybody say a prayer. I don't get sick. I don't think I will. I won't get sick from the shot. It's just if it irritates my other illnesses, it may other members of my family who are, have similar illness to me, it did irritate their fibromyalgia and stuff and made them feel pretty bad. So they didn't have COVID. They, it, it made their other illnesses angry. So that's what I'm concerned about. It's not getting, it's not so much the COVID part. It's my, it's where if it irritates everything else, then I'm going to be in a mess. I'm going to be in bed is where I'm going to be. So that's why I'm working on really hard on getting ahead in videos and working on my project and getting my stuff into my shop and shipped out, just in case I'm kind of down for a little bit, then it's no biggie, right? You don't see a video, you know, mm, I might not be feeling so great, so I'm sure it won't kill me. It just may make me not happy. All right, I'm worried, but I'm not, you know, I'm just preparing. Look how pretty that came out. I'm really, really, really happy with her. <sighs> Question, do we want anything across the bottom of the page again? I don't have any more of that one laced, darn it. I wish I did. I don't think I do. Oh, let's bring the box back. 
Let's bring the magic box back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do we have? I don't see anything. I don't even know why that piece was in here, where it came from. If I knew where it came from, I could go look and see if I had any more, you know, but I don't even know where I cut that off from. That I cut it off from one of my big, I'm looking around here, because I said I did bring a bunch of stuff over. Did I cut that off from my bigger? No. Hmm. Oh, hold on a second. I'm going to the floor now. Oh. Sorry, that was just me dropping all my uh, laces and stuff on the floor. Okay, so if I don't see them in there, let's go to the big box. These are my vintage laces that I've had forever and a day that I bought in the 60s or 70s. Um, I'm looking to see. I'm, I'm looking for the... Um, no. I'm looking up, too, to see if it's up there. I don't think that was one of my Gale laces, but it could be. It could be one of the ones that Gale gave me. For my birthday or something. I don't remember. We've been doing some swaps for quite some time. Um, I'm in another box. Be out in a minute. <laughs> I'm diving. My head's in the box. No, I don't see any of that kind of lace. I don't think it came from here. Hmm. I must have just had something left over. Or, or it could have been one that I got in a Happy Mail. You know, or one of my orders. Or I don't know. Sorry guys, we're on the lace hunt here. Or if I don't see that, you know, if I while I'm looking, I might see something that I really like. <sighs> That's none of those. Well, that could have been one of my mom's laces too because um, she did have a huge, huge lace collection from all of her stuff. Hold on, I'm going to another drawer. I'll be right back. <laughs> I haven't left the room. I did not leave the building. I'm checking one of my other lace drawers. I don't see any. Eh. It must have been just something that was left over. Darn. Kind of bummed. I really like that. I'm happy it's in this folio, though, because that makes it a very special lace, because there is no more of it probably in the whole world. So, <sighs> here's some... Oh. Not enough similar to that other one. I swear that I must have, you know what? I have another, I have probably two or three more lace boxes that it could be in. So I'll have to go look after the video and see if I can find any more. Well, this is similar to the other one. Let's use this one. I'm using the heavier laces inside, but I will, when I go in again, I may, I'm gonna probably use something completely different from what I've used here. Oh, let me get a drink, you guys. Boy, I fussed around through this whole video just to do one, two envelopes, two. Wow. Okay. Ooh, this is some very, very heavy. This is from the 70s. This is vintage. I guess it's considered vintage now. Would it be retro, maybe? Retro lace, vintage lace? It'd be considered vintage now. Um, not antique for sure not antique i have antique laces but that's not one of them i have to trim this up a little bit it's a little bit rat ratty on the end too which some people really like that and i do too but not for this journal it's not a ratty journal it's not a not not ratty what do you call it um grungy yeah that's the word ratty that's not a nice word it's not what i meant i meant grungy it's not a grungy journal i love grunge um, and periodically I'll make something grungy or I'll do um, steampunk. 
I do have a master board that I did that was kind of a feminine steampunk thing. People said they would love to see me do something with that. So I probably will. I'll probably do a folio or something cool with it. Or an uh, altered um, bag or book or something with it. There, we got a little hang down, but nothing crazy, you know. I'm going to have to figure out where it goes on the... There we go. Oh, well, it looks like we're only going to get maybe two pockets, and I don't know what else today, because... And then what I'll probably try to do is make some ephemera for it. I don't know how many parts you guys want to see. If you want, Do you want to see all of this? you want to see it all? I mean, it's up to you. Well, not every little detail, but you know, the majority, right? This time I got smart and glued the lace onto the card first. So I know it fits. <laughs> Unlike the last one we did. Boy, noisy today. A lot of cars. Usually Sunday around here is just dead quiet. But um, one of the houses recently sold up behind us up the hill. And the lady had lived in it, I guess, since it was built. So it's about 25 years old, maybe up there. Uh, 20, 25, maybe less, maybe 20. But she was the original owner and never did anything to the house. So they are ripping out the guts of the house, literally taking it down to the studs and um, remodeling the whole thing. So there is a lot of construction going on behind us. There we go, you guys. Isn't that pretty? Here, let me move this. So that's kind of in the way. Isn't that lovely? Isn't she lovely? Oh my gosh. I don't know if I'll put any pearls on her. She might get an earring maybe. But I can't really feel like she needs anything because there's enough. I'm not going to go around the edge there. I did those. I did some. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. I might. Oh, let me stick some pearls over there because that's my thing. But other than that, I'm pretty darn happy with that. Let me see. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with that. So let me get my little scissors. And... Oh, not those scissors. Oh, the sticky stuff does not come off those. Well, I hope you guys uh, are enjoying this little series that I'm doing here. Um, and you want to see it going. Keep going. I didn't really have good numbers on it, but I decided, well, this is what I'm doing, so that's what I'm going to make. If you guys like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. That's okay. That's all right with me. So. I'm just moving some of this stuff out. It's like crazy over here. Crazy land with all this stuff. All right, you guys. We have two finished pockets. I'm just going to throw this in here. Oh, that's way too tall. <laughs> No, maybe not that one. We'll put that in there just for a minute, just so you could see. We've got a pocket here. Be nice to put a word here, and maybe one over there too, but definitely a word or a saying or um, a, oh, yeah, this is too big. I, I found a bunch of these little um, buddies that I made, you know, and I thought I was planning to put one here, and I can, well, I guess I could still could. I could still put it there and let it dangle down kind of a lot on the pocket but I don't really care right delight to please others to take great pleasure from well I definitely do or maybe I'll find another one of her little things that doesn't have all the stuff on it and put that there that might look cute but we need to have something there and I want to put a little something there maybe a word or something maybe one of Jolene's words um, could go there with a little lace or something mm, antique is a good word right These are Jolene's from a jewel design for those of you who are new and don't know. A jewel design is my daughter's shop and also my shop. My things are found in inside of a jewel design. She is a graphic designer who does digitals, digital um, kits for us. And um, yeah, I can build that up a little bit, maybe put that there. I'll put it over here. Well, we'll see. Um, 
And so she makes these uh, digitals and then I'm a substrate inside of her shop and my shop is Vintage Paper Girl. That's why I always say that at the beginning. And um, she usually puts a little watermark on it so you know it's it's mine. She is digital and I am physical. So she's gonna start putting some physical things in her shop. She's actually going to start doing some digital scrap bags. Uh, so she's gonna take digitals and um, things that she's that she's produced that she's getting a big overstock of scraps from projects. And so she's gonna start making little physical kits where you can get some little digital pieces already made and cut. So she's gonna be doing that soon. So you can watch for those. So there's lots going on in our, our shop. We're trying to step it up, especially as we're coming into the holidays. So here we go. We are making progress on this, guys. We've got our first pockets in that we can put little things into. I don't really have a lot to go in there right now. We can put like maybe that in there. I'm gonna make some things for this. Let's see, we have maybe five minutes. So let's do an envelope. I want to put an envelope in there. I don't know if this kit, did this kit have an envelope? I thought this kit had an envelope. Ah, yes it does. So I wanna make um, another envelope. Because this can go in maybe one of the big pockets. Oh, would that fit in there? It would. Decor but decorated it might not. But I have these big pockets, so I was thinking something like that in there. Um, but let's do, let's see if we can start it. We may not get very far. Sorry, I'm bending over here. Get one of these. And, hmm. Actually, that would be a problem because it's not printed on the back. Because normally I would print something like this on the back. So when you make the envelope, you know it has something on the inside. But I guess it could just be white. If I don't like it, I'll just make one, right? That'll work. All right, let's do... We have a little bit of time, so let me see if I can put something together here. I just want to cut off these white strips. have enjoyed this I am enjoying a lot I'm really the hours just fly by when I do this I mean I would like to have a two-hour video <laughs> I just don't think you'd want to watch a two-hour video I mean, I could make it that big and slide it into a pocket. It's still too tall, I think. Let's see. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's too tall. So let's get... Oh, looks like my daughter just drove up. Oh, goodness, I'll be ending this video any second. Give me a few minutes. I'm going to have to end this because my little girl's here dropping off some stuff for mom and dad. But I think I would like to have... How wide are my pockets? Let me see real quick here. Well, it's about five and a half to six and five and a half inches. So let's go. Wait, did I measure that right? Hold on a minute. Yeah. I, I think we can do five and a half. But that makes a great little notebook. Okay, we can do a little uh, matchbook right there. That will work. Probably should not have thrown that on the floor like I just did. Naughty, naughty, naughty. So, and then we can decorate this up with some of the goodies from the kit. As well as some of the... Um, there's some really good goodies here. I mean, there's a pretty butterfly there is a huge oh that might be pretty something like that with some lace across here um got some goodies here oh, all kinds of goodies or i could do something like this across the top maybe something like that 
and then use one of the pieces from the kit. Well, as you can see, we have some options here. Um, so there you go. That's what I was going to do with this paper. That's why I wanted to show it to you. And I could just, you know, throw a piece of lace over it to um, lighten it up quite a bit, you know, not this one, but something else, you know, to lighten it up. So we'll see what I where I go with this. Did she leave? Oh, she didn't leave. She might have just hit and ran. She was going to Costco for us, so she might have, which is the big box store. Kind of like Sam's, Costco, I forget. A couple different places like that. So there you have an envelope that we could use inside of our, oh, we'll definitely ink it up. This is a little bright white for me. But we can use that inside of our little folio. So there you have it. Another video down. This is part four of our fabulous uh, Paris old laces or old Paris laces. Maybe old Paris laces, I think is what we're going to call it. Folio, which is going to have all these goodies in it and, and looking beautiful. I think next time you see it, I will probably go ahead and put the lace on here. If there's anything else that I want to make for that, you know, maybe we could do it. Or maybe I will just do a review. We'll see. We'll see how far I get on it and whether we're going to do a part five. But you have a very good idea of how to do this cover, how to make it, you know, how to make one, um, what my process is. I will be doing a number of different projects like this that you'll be able to watch me do the process and go all the way through. So, well, thank you for watching, everyone. I really appreciate it. I hope that you will come back and watch me again and check out more of my videos. So, have a fabulous day, everyone, a fabulous Friday, and a wonderful weekend. And I love you all. Hugs and kisses. Bye-bye.